Congressman, thank you for joining us. Uh, my, uh, my question, I have two questions. Uh, the concern, uh, Moody Air Force Base. With the budgets that you talked about and the, uh, the chaos that's going on uh, with uh, coming up with the budget, it appears to me, and this is my first question, that we're going to have a sequester too. And would you agree or not agree on that? And, and, and if we do, wouldn't Moody Air Force Base be subject to a stealth threat? <coughs> because of the sequester and the limitations on the Air Force budget? That's a very good question. All right, so the question was about stealth crack. And, and, and stealth crack, essentially what's meant by that is the Air Force does not have to have a bright mission to, to move a mission. So if the Air Force um, decided that they wanted to move a mission out of moving, they can without congressional approval. And, and that's what people are talking about when they talk about the stealth crimes. I'm on three subcommittees of the Armed Services um, Committee. They have to deal with me probably more than more than ever like to at the subcommittee level. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that we will be able to stop any potential um, from those positions. That, that would affect the bases in, in my district. My, my primary concern is what are we going to do with the AT&T weapons system? And um, I, I think that's an awesome weapons system, and I think we need it. But they don't have to have a right <coughs> to change whether or not they maintain the AT&T. And so that's why I say from the standpoint of what we have to do with military affairs and, and work with us in our office, we need to have a list of the assets that we have. The infrastructure is good out there. The runways are good out there. We need to be going for additional missions out there. And so, uh, but, but that, that's an excellent question. The other thing that I would tell you um, with regard to the cuts is yes, absolutely effective October 1st, um, a second round of the sequester goes in place. And I want you to understand the military had already agreed to 500 billion in reductions over the course of 10 years. Our commanders, um, Secretary Gates said we could do it. Secretary Panetta said we could do it. Um, all of our commander in chiefs said we can make these changes and and um, and not have any detrimental impact to national security. It's when the sequester was put on top of those that it created the challenges for the military because they had planned over 500 billion in cuts and they got twice that. So um, one of the things I'll tell you. If we end up in the sequester again, one of the key questions for anybody who works on the basis is going to be furloughed. What happened this past year, they proposed 22 days of furloughs, it, went, it then went down to 11, it then went down to 7. Um, if, if there are furloughs for next year, and Secretary Hagel and the other Secretary, Secretary Hale, have both said that they, they believe they can, can budget without furloughs, our, our point with them is if we are going to have furloughs, we don't want to push. 11 days into the last three months of the year. If we gotta take them, if we gotta take them, let us take one off. So uh, that's what we've heard from the employees and, and we're gonna do what we can to stop any of the furlough days. Um, but if we are gonna have to have them, we're gonna work on behalf of the employees to do what they, they've asked for, is to just give them until the 12 months time. 